Hello, I'm uh, I'm Jolene Coder, and uh, I'm a Menon main, and I'm here to teach you how to beat my character, uh, because I I think I'm the best source. So there's there's a couple of things that are really like baseline. First of all, nothing is safe on block basically, uh, and that I mean specifically specials, normals as well. I was testing, like, these are her only block strings, basically. Like, <laughs> she has nothing. Light thing here, nope, that's minus 15. This is, can be, like, space to be safe. The EX version is, is pretty safe. Um, I think on point blank, yeah, it's just minus 3. So only the EX overhead is safe anything else you can punish so please be ready for that please do that like this that's minus three so unsafe you can punish all of her normals but a lot of them are quite unsafe um and importantly you can take your turn back so manon can just kind of do this but if you look at the frame meter there's a like good five frame gap in between these and that can be interrupted so, Manon has some weaknesses in her pressure. Luckily, she has that command grab, or even worse, from a DR. So, that is what she kind of does. Like, bap, bap. You know, that's what she does. So, you gotta be ready to challenge her. Now, there are two others. There's a major lesson here. And that is the vacuum situation. Which is what happens after this and this. Now we're on block. That's minus five. You get a punish from that. This is the like punish I would go for for Manon. Uh, but you, you gotta get your five frame punish ready. Or four frame if you're... You just know your fast loops button. Just know if you see yourself get dragged in and you didn't get hit. It is your turn. You can punish. For the heavy one, if it's not hit confirmed, I'm minus eight. I can get grabbed here. I I can take a medium punish and take a lot of damage. So if a Manon gets to do this on you, they will just abuse it. Because then we don't have to think. The hardest part of playing Manon is winning the neutral, hitting this, and then hit confirming it into a situation. Now, what we're going to be looking at is the situation after. So on heavy, I'm plus three. On medium, I'm plus two. My options are basically the same. So, we do medium and we do heavy grab. There's only a three frame gap here. So you can't jab out. Uh, on the heavy, there's only a two frame gap. So you can't jab out. So, your options are... Well, first of all, a reversal. You can DP here. Uh, but then the shimmy comes in. But the basic 50-50 is, are you going to block... Or are you going to uh, jump? If you block, well, you're getting grabbed. If you jump, if we say reversal after damage and common actions, vertical jump. Oh. Did I not? Oh, I forgot to turn it on. Haha. <laughs> ha. You're gonna eat this. So, this is a 50-50. What I think is interesting against Menon is, to start out, taking the grab isn't that bad, right? Because to start, it's, it's only like 2k. That's not that bad. But in the later ends, when she has 5 medals, one grab is as bad as the full combo, so jumping is the correct decision. But I know that, so I'm just going to be checking you every time. So, vacuums on hit. Don't mash. Do not try to tag. Backdash technically also works. Instead of, like, if you expect a jump. But I'm pretty sure that also gets caught by uh, uh, the foot. That also gets caught by the foot. So it doesn't work. Well, it does. But it also loses to the same option. And this is a crucial thing. 
Do not backwards jump. So you see, that's not that bad for me. I'm back in neutral. What you want to do is a vertical jump. And then you can come down and punish me if you guess right. That is very crucial. Because if the Manon player sees that, they are going to have to check you. Or do stuff like regular grab and then have time to block. Um, so more layers come in. But vacuum on here, you gotta jump or you gotta block. And you need to make that decision deliberately. Okay? So that is... That's the important thing about that situation. In her neutral, this is kind of Manon's weakest button. If uh, we quickly make a recording here. And we ask uh, that to start playing. And we're like sitting here neutral. First of all, it's not that dangerous. Like I'm plus three, I can take my turn back. But it, on whiff. Let's try to make the whiff. It's pretty easy to whiff punish. Alright. So you want to be right outside of that button's range. And then you want to go in and whiff punish. That also works. So that is a crucial thing to do. Now, this is another... This is kind of the final thing that I'm only right now, like, working into my own game against Menon. Because, <laughs> for some reason, the match I've played the most in ranked is the Menon Mirror. Uh, which is great. There's recovery in this game. Uh, so... Oh, it's a hard knockdown, doesn't matter. So... Oh, after grabs, it's also a hard knockdown, okay? How about after this? After the grabs, it's always a hard knockdown, so it doesn't matter. But for things like this... It does. Um, so here, I go and... When you do the uh, regular combo, you kind of walk up and hit heavy punch as a meaty. That's a lot harder if you back roll. After the throws, it's a hard knockdown, not much to do then. Um, but after stuff like this, there's a lot of corner carry. That will set you free. I do not... I don't get close enough to meet you here. Now... The final tip I want to give you. This is important. Do not DI on wake up. Don't do it, uh, because this applies to most characters, but especially Manon. Uh, I thought it was pretty safe, um, but against that, she has time to recover on grabs. This is the immediate I do. If I press the correct button here. Manons will usually this button, this button, or this button. All of which are special cancelable. Except Heavy Punch. Heavy Punch is kind of... Jesus, it's a punch button. Heavy Punch is kind of an exception. But it's super cancelable. So against that, you can do it, but make sure they don't have meter. Because it's such a typical meaty button for Manons. Because the reward of us hitting it is so huge. So we'll often do that. And a situation that often occurs with men on to don't know. I forgot the back roll. Uh, is that they get that when they press the DR button. And so if you look at my inputs here. I'm mashing. But because there's a heavy punch, I get the second part of the target combo. Which is why it's important for men on to not do that when they see the DR. You gotta be ready with the super. Now, this is something I'm just practicing now, but it's important. It's very important for the Manon gameplay and that I'm doing at least. So that's the thing that I'm incorporating in. So 
This can all boil down to Manon is minus on everything unless she spends Strife Rush. So you can take your turn back basically all the time. There are some meaty hits, so be careful there. And the only really safe thing she has is this, which is minus three on block. So she can't really force stuff like someone like DJ can or like Ryu with like going into fireballs. So you don't have to respect her pressure as much. Have a five frame punish for this situation on block and eight for the heavy. And when you get here, choose between jump or block. Do you think I'm gonna grab or do you think I'm gonna pressure you afterwards? Other options will get beaten by grab and punch. DI gets beaten. Um, this actually might be a very... This is a thing that I think is very cool. Uh, reversal after damage. Uh, that she has drive impact. Uh, we need to turn it on. So we see here. Because the uh, spin has two hits. Uh, it actually beats out DI. So DI doesn't work there. You can do a reversal super or like a DP if you have that. But jump. Or block. Specifically vertical jump and punish on the way down. That is one of the th reasons it's very scary to go for the grab. So make sure you vertical block. Use your back rolls in situations where you can. On regular throw, we saw you can do that. On the regular combos here that doesn't end in the form of grab. Make sure you back roll. It'll get you further away from the grappler. Now, situations where you're getting close to the corner are risky. So that's the thing you have to consider. But in general, if you want some breathing room, Remember back roll. It's an important option. And then in neutral, we fish for this. We fish for the big heavy punch, move around that range and try and whiff punish that. Because trust me, we'll be throwing it out. <laughs> yeah, and don't wake up the eye. That's in general just good advice. But here it is crucial. So I, I just wanted to get some of my thoughts down on beating Manon. Because cause I... I make these... I'm, I do false pressure and people won't check me. So, please do that so I can improve. Please beat those bad habits out of me and the other Menon players. Thank you. Like and subscribe on the YouTube if you enjoyed this. I I just, you know... I've been teaching people how to deal with like Blanca and Honda as Menon. So I felt like I, sh I should give back to the others.